Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp scripting tutorial. So in this video we're gonna learn a very essential topic called vectors. Now vectors are uh, you need to understand vectors before you enter into core Unity game development. Okay, so that is why I'm teaching this. So let's get started. So in Unity and in, in C Sharp we use mainly two kinds of vectors. In Unity we use mainly two kinds of vectors. There are other vectors too, but we use mainly two. One of them is vector two, and another is vector three. We also have vector four, as you can see, we have also vector four, but we don't use it frequently. Okay, so a vector three can store two values inside it. So a vector two has two components x value and a y value whereas a vector 3 has three values a x value a y value a z value okay so vector 3 can store three values whereas a vector 2 can store two values now we will say what why do we need those things so suppose i create a vector 2 variable suppose i create a vector 2 variable named false and inside this vector2 variable, inside this pose, I can store two values. I can store an x value and a y value. So, whenever in 2D mode we are getting the position of a player, suppose uh, we are, suppose we have created a simple game object, 3D object quad here. Where is the quad? Okay, suppose we have created a quad here, and suppose we want to represent the position of the quad. As you can see here, we have a position of the quad where it has x, y, and z values. Okay, so if we want to represent its position, we have to tell it, we have to tell where it is in the x axis, where it is in the y axis, and where it is in the z axis. Since it's a 2D game, so the z value is 0 here. So in a 2D game, we will use a vector 2 to store the position of these kind of things and a lot more things where we have to store two values x and y. Okay, and there are a lot of cases where we have to store the x and y values together and in those cases we will use vector 2. Now suppose we are in 3D mode and right now if I want to represent the position of this this quad i have to mention three properties i have to mention where it is in the x axis where it is in the y axis and where it is in the z axis as you can see now it has a z value too okay so in order to store these three values now i have to use a vector 3 so inside a vector 3 i can store the x value y value and z value together okay so now let's take a look at how we can create a new vector in order to create a vector, right? First of all, you declare a vector. You can create it directly here, or first of all, you create a vector to called position. And in the start function, you write pose equals new vector to. And inside that, you can put, you can give a y value, you can give a x value and a y value. So as you can see, it takes two values and it create vectors out of those. So first of all, let us write five here which is the x value and then let us write 6 f which is the y value. So now this position which is a vector to kind of variable has two values 5f and 6f. Now we can easily print those values if I write debug.log and inside that I write pose.x it will print the value of position x and if I write debug.log pose.y it will print the value of the y. As you can see uh, if I run it right now, if I run it right now, and click here and put the console here, as you can see, first of all, it prints the x value, which is 5, and then the y value, which is 6. We can do the same with the vector 3 variable. Okay. So, these vector 2 and vector 3 variables are basically used to store x, y, and z values, which is required in a lot of places. As you can see here, we have a transform component, which is a position, rotation, and scale. And to store all these values, we need a vector. We cannot store these values in a general variable together. We need a vector to that for that to store the position, rotation, scale. And in a lot of cases, we need this kind of vector variables, vector type of variables.
so this is very very important so that is why i need to make a tutorial on that before moving on to unity specific programming so i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something thank you very very much for watching if you have any questions or comments let me know this in comments and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching